I think in the last vlog, you guys saw a clip of me mopping the floors, but there's just honestly nothing better than no dishes and a clean kitchen floor. So I feel like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. Really happy that the lemon stuff is back. I'm gonna come sit out here and the furniture has all of this. So I'm gonna sit here and rock. I'm gonna be mowing the lawn soon. It's just looking a little shaggy but they there was a big tractor out there and he was i guess like cutting the wheat and you guys should have seen the dust and film from that that floated here it actually floated all the way to the front of the house got all over the car um and with that i have to wonder not to like geek out on you guys and talk about lawn and stuff but i feel like that's why the lawn looked worse this year and kind of what was confusing me if you guys have been like following all my vlogs you know that i was like really confused as to why it just was so bad this year and i think it's because maybe they cut this year and they didn't like when i had moved in basically because and what i mean is is that all of those particles in the air um, and like the grass trimmings and things that can actually have weeds in it and then if those things land on your grass it's kind of like seeding if you will that's why whenever i mow i mow without a bag because i'm basically all right while i was telling my grass story i thought that you guys could look at the scenery because i was definitely a lot cuter than me but listen here we are so basically, as I was saying, not to bore anybody to tears and who's sleeping, but whenever mowing occurs in any way, shape or form, even if it's like wheats or things like that, it can have like weed, basically particles and stuff. And then that can act almost like seeding. And so I feel like that whole film of stuff probably sprinkled some more weeds in my future and I think that's probably what happened because it really kind of made no sense why it was like completely different if I had been treating my lawn. I could also be wrong. I'm not an expert, but I have watched a ton of YouTube lawn videos and why people mow with a bag, without a bag. But I like to mow without a bag because you're basically giving the nutrients back to your grass because the nutrients are in like the top part of your grass that you're cutting off. So instead of bagging that, and it has nutrients, I just let the clippings fall back into the grass that's cut. The same thing can happen if you have weeds. So if you're cutting weeds and you're not bagging it, then you're sprinkling the weed stuff back in. So if you have more weeds than you do grass, then I would bag it, if that makes sense. I feel like nobody cares. But here we are, that's what I'm talking about tonight, just in case somebody does care. Uh, my daughter is about to go out. She's got a friend who has a birthday, so they're gonna go celebrate. And I just thought I would vlog. I don't know what I'm gonna do, to be honest. But you guys know the drill. I'm a homebody, I like to chill, I like to watch movies. Right now, I'm watching Austin Land. Again, I really love this movie. It has actually had like the most calming effect on me. And I always look for movies like this where it can then be like a comfort movie. Like, you know what I mean? Do you guys have comfort movies? I know my daughter has some, like hers are, I have to ask her. I know the Harry Potters are some of them. Let me go ask her what they are. What are your comfort movies? Well, I'm just talking about it on my camera. Uh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I said that. Mm, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Yep, that's one. Uh, those are like my main two, though. Those are your main two? Yeah. 
Anyways, yeah, so hers are clearly a lot different than mine are. A lot of action, adventure. I started off my evening by making coffee. It's literally 7 p.m. I made this at six o'clock. Morning guys, excuse how I look. I think I got some pretty random clips that probably won't make sense. So I'll just explain them now as I insert the clips. But basically, I got up this morning to head off to the thrift store because I originally planned like a Walmart and TJ Maxx haul for a Tuesday video on my main channel. Well, I went to TJ Maxx, I went to Walmart, but I only found a couple of things. I didn't feel like it was enough for a video. So I missed my Tuesday release and then decided, you know what, why don't I just make it like a mashup haul, go to a thrift store, haven't done that in a while, and then put everything together for a Saturday video. So went to the thrift store but didn't really find anything. And, and so I headed off to Sam Moon's and this is that clip. Good morning. I'm just sitting in my car in front of Sam Moon's waiting for it to open. If you don't know what that is, it's like a massive jewelry store, I guess you could say. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to call it, but they have a lot of other stuff. They have purses and luggages, clothing, hats, all those things, but they're not quite open yet, so I'm just sitting here. I actually just came from a Goodwill store. Didn't spend very much time in there. I just thought that I was going to have like the patience to want to, you know, thrift shop, um, but it turns out I didn't. So I went ahead and left and I think I'm also going to get a pedicure. I just feel like it's time. I don't always get my nails done and just kind of like take care of that at home, but I think I'm going to go ahead and get a nice pedicure today and probably just do like plain basic nails nothing fancy i had to throw my hat back on i couldn't even take myself seriously i felt like i looked like a potato but i didn't end up vlogging while i was in sam moon so um but i did get a couple of things for the haul which if you watch my main channel then you'll see those items there but actually i'm gonna show you guys here too in a second after Sam Moon's, however, I then headed off to the nail salon. And finally treated myself to a mani-pedi, which I pretty much do once a year, sometimes twice. I do feel like maybe I should kind of go a little bit more often. It's definitely a very nice, um, you know, it's just re really calming, relaxing. It's kind of like having a girl's day. My daughter was also there with me, but she's still there getting her nails done. She actually showed up a little bit after I did and I'm starving. So, but I'm gonna show you guys my nails. I went with something very, very simple. I knew that I didn't want to have any sort of like powder or tips or anything. So I just had her do like a very small trim of orange. I don't know why, there we go. The camera really wasn't picking it up. It's actually a little bit too thick. I should have told her to make the line a little bit thinner. But overall, it's really cute and again, really simple. So I love how it turned out. And then my toes are just like a bright coral. So they're actually supposed to match like the colors of the tip. And then sorry for blurriness, but um, yeah, so.
It's been a few hours since lunchtime and I actually debated back and forth, back and forth on if I was gonna go jogging or not. Clearly you can see that I'm getting ready to go. Thought I'd show you guys the outfit. I don't normally get to wear these sneakers so I'm excited because I have this top. Got it from Walmart and I really like the color. It's so pretty, love it for summer. I'm probably gonna regret this. I feel like I should let my body rest, but something, but I've decided to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and jog. I don't think I'm gonna wear my knee brace or my IT band today. 